The store has zero tolerance policy for theft. I understand, sir. I do, and I know my son is so, so sorry. He has a new phone. I'm not sure why he stole this one. I'm gonna have to call the police. Wait. He's a straight A student. He's at the top of his class. He's just going through a lot right now. Please, I, I can pay for the new iPhone. Please, please just don't call the cops. If I hadn't have come, what would have happened? Do you hear me? Richie. Are you listening to me? You know you could be in jail right now. Whatever, I'm sure jail is better than being here. You might want to rethink that one, buddy. This loser. Oops. Did I do that? Oh, is Richie mad? Leave me alone, Dylan. You guys hear that? She wants me to leave him alone. She's like your father. Are you gonna wash your mouth? Man, I'm just being honest. You guys hear about that guy that drove up Interstate 5 to the Golden Gate Bridge and just jumped off? Like, I mean, how messed up is your life for you to want to go up there and just want to just drop? Yeah! Ah! <laughs> Who is talking about my dad? Richie! Yeah! What yeah! are you doing? Ah! Stop! I see. Is this true, Mr. Webb? Well, uh, sorry for your loss. But we can't have you beating up kids in school either. I'll tell you what. I'll mandate that you see a therapist. Upon successful completion of 10 sessions, We'll wipe this from your record so you don't serve any jail time. And Cornell will still be an option. I would hate to close the door on a young man with so much potential. You won't regret your decision. Thank you. I certainly hope not. This court is adjourned. Yes. Oh, great. Excellent. This is great news, honey. Right? So your mom tells me you're a senior at Bookside, huh? I went to Bookside once upon a time. Do they still do Pizza Fridays? That was my favorite day. <clears throat> well, enough of me blabbering. What would you like to talk about, Richie? We still have a few minutes left. Who's that? I don't like to talk about it. Dr. McGee, how'd it go? Not great. He didn't want to talk about anything. Oh, so 
what I was afraid of. God, he's just been so angry lately and non-communicative. Well, at least with his words. I mean, he never used to be like this. What he's gone through would be a lot for anyone to deal with, especially a teenager. Depression manifests in so many different ways, and unfortunately, anger is one of them. Do you think medicine would help? I typically don't like to go that route. And from my experience in these types of situations, the best way to help him would be to find a way for him to shift his focus from the pain he's feeling to new possibilities. What do you mean? Well, getting him a new hobby or a new creative interest, something to redirect his energy. Him having something to be excited about would go a long way. It's the second most important thing, at least. The second most important? What's the first? Getting him to forgive his father. Okay, so what would you like to talk about today? Would you like to talk about what happened at school? Or would you like to talk about your father? I don't want to talk about anything, all right? I wouldn't even be here if I didn't have to be. All right. You don't have to talk. How about if we just play instead? Now, how chess works is... Oh, so you know how to play. <laughs> Funny thing about chess is that it's a lot like life. Every move matters. No matter how big or small it may seem, and sometimes you have to go back in order to move forward. Even the strongest players have setbacks sometimes, but with resilience and determination, they make it to the difficult times and come out stronger, like a real, true chess player does. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Checkmate. I've been playing for seven years. How long have you been playing? Since last night. Wow. Okay. <sighs> what took you so long? I'm going to be late. Oh, you're not going to therapy today. What? Why not? Since when do you care about not going? Well, just tell me what's going on. Why am I not going to... Th You're not going to therapy today because Dr. McGee is coming to you. Hey, Richie. You ready to go on a little adventure today? <laughs> This is just a little place old timers like me like to come and play chess and spend time. So now let's see if yesterday was just luck or genius. So what's your plan? What do you mean what's my plan? My plan is to beat you. <laughs> I'm not talking about chess. I'm talking about life. What are your goals, your dreams? Your mom says you want to go to Cornell, right? Is that true? I don't know anymore. So you're going to give up on all your dreams because your dad... It's your turn. Richie. I don't want to talk about my dad, okay? I hate him. 
Hate is a strong word. Let's explore that. Define hate. You want me to define hate? Hate is what I'm starting to feel for you. All right. That's fine. You're entitled to that. Please, continue. See, this is what I mean about therapy. It's all an act. You want me to define this and explore that when you can't even confront your own demons? What do you mean? That little girl in the photo. When I asked about her, your whole body language changed. So don't act like you can help me when you can't even help yourself. Emily. Her name was Emily. You see, I adopted her when she was young. It was just the two of us, and she was my whole world. I was the happiest I had ever been. That is, until everything changed. She just got sick out of nowhere. We ran every test, did every treatment, spent every dime I had, but we couldn't save her. I couldn't save her. After she was gone, my whole world turned upside down. So you see, everything changed for me. I completely shut down. I was so mad at the world for taking away what I love the most. I'm sorry. I never would have guessed you went through that. Yeah, well, it's really hard for me to move on. And clearly, I haven't fully yet. But one day I was watching the movie Rocky. And there was a quote that just stuck with me. Rocky says, life, it's not about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. So that's how I try to live my life. Try to move forward no matter how hard I get hit. I don't know how to do that. Well, it would help a lot if you could find peace in forgiving your father. Which won't be easy. I mean, it was really hard to forgive myself after I lost Emily. But I told myself if I moved on, I could help save other kids like you. Sometimes I ask myself if I'm even making any difference at all. Hey, honey. How was Why do you do it? I can't even imagine what you were going through. But I want you to know that... I forgive you, Dad.